What is a gamma ray? Hello, folks. This is Tom from anti-proton.com. And what is a gamma ray, you ask? Well, for starters, I didn't have a good way to show you a gamma ray right off the top of my head here to begin with. So I have this laser ray here because this laser is emitting photons, little packets of light energy, if you like. This is a visible laser, visible photons. But a gamma ray is just like these, just tremendously higher in, in energy. So think like a little BB gun or a pellet gun versus an artillery shell. A uh, gamma ray, of course, um, if you could actually shoot it like a beam like this, it would probably burn right through you. So gamma rays are high energy photons, just like, ow, just like regular photons, except their energy is slightly uh, higher than uh, 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 visible light, ultraviolet, and even x-rays. It's typically more than 1,000 electron volts per photon or greater. Now, the actual energy level is not what necessarily determines what is or is not a gamma ray, but it just usually happens to be that way, right? Remember, things that fly are not always birds, but most things that fly are birds, if that makes sense. Um, typically, um, you, you'll find that there's a huge amount of debate amongst people as to what actually classifies the difference between a gamma ray and an x-ray. Most scientists will swear it's one way or the other, no matter what. But if you ask a bunch, you'll find out that that's completely in the air. Um, I look at it like this. Interactions of the strong force of, 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 of nature, that would be things inside of the atom's nucleus, protons and neutrons, when they become energetic and then they have to re release that energy, the surplus energy is fired off as a gamma ray, when, when, when atoms split, anything that involves the nucleus being adjusted in its energy states and momentum being adjusted tends to emit gamma rays. That's a photon that's extra superfluous energy being sent off from the nucleus being disturbed and then relaxing. So it's kind of like the way that works. Uh, they're very similar to x-rays. On most charts, they show x-rays as being in a particular lower energy range, like it goes visible light, ultraviolet light, x-ray, gamma. I understand why they do that. It's not quite right, because x-rays and gamma rays kind of overlap, because they, they, it's really more of where they come from than what they're actually doing. So just to get that right, gamma rays are just like light, infrared, ultraviolet, radio waves, this laser, just way, 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 way more powerful. So as a result of that, since they have no electrical charge, just like the laser here, no electrical charge, they pass right through no more normal matter and rarely actually interact with it. But sometimes they do interact. And when they do interact, they, they ping off an atom. They, they deposit some energy into that atom, right? And they lose, their, they lose their, velo not their velocity. They lose their energy a little bit when they do that. And so and unfortunately, if this is our body, you know, it can increase the likelihood of cancer, that sort of thing. So I have a little sign right up here for the radiation. Um, they have a distinct energy when they're emitted from atoms, very specific energies. And they don't, they're not less or more than that, although once they bounce off of matter, they can lose some of that energy. So that can get things a little bit confusing. But because they have distinct energy, it makes it easy to use gamma rays to determine why something's radioactive. Take a look at this chart showing gamma rays in their energies, and an X by Y by energy chart, so you can like figure out what something is. So check this out. Okay, so um, they're not the re they're not they're not something that occurs when when an atom decays. They're something that occurs after an atom decays. An atom decays and emits betas and alphas and stuff. But then, as a result of it, the excited nucleus afterwards has to calm down and to do, to do that, it emits a gamma ray. And that's why I keep telling you they come from nucleuses, the nucleus of an atom, the nuclei. Other sources are cosmic rays, thunderstorms. I think that's debatable. I still call those x-rays myself the thunderstorm ones. But scientists usually call them gamma rays. And of course, fission and fusion will emit gamma rays as well, too. No, they do not turn you into the freaking Incredible Hulk, all right? They, they would give you potentially cancer, but that's about it. And it takes a lot to actually do that. I swear I keep getting burned by this laser. So anyway, that's what a gamma ray is. Let me show you some gamma radiation with one of my detectors, all right? All right, this is an X-ray detector right here. This is Ludlum Model 12, and we see that we're looking at around uh, um, two, 3,000 counts per minute. By the way, this is in times 100. So you have uh, 0, 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 counts per minute. This is a cobalt-60 check source, 33 kilobecquerels. We stick, the, we'll turn on the sound. Watch what happens when we put the, the gamma rays, well, the gamma ray emitter near the detector.
like, subscribe, ask me questions if you like, and uh, let me know if you like some laser videos.